Good morning, everybody. I definitely intended to hit the ground running today with just extreme productivity. Uh, life has had other plans. My youngest daughter is sick. She has a, a pretty high fever. And she was up literally like every half an hour last night. Um, and so my wife and I just both got almost no sleep. And so this morning I ran over and got Elizabeth some Starbucks and, you know, took care of the kids and, you know, tried to take as much burden off of her as I could for as long as I could. So I'm just getting to the shop now at about 11 o'clock, which is really only an hour after I would normally be here if I had exercised. Um, but I'll probably still have to go back and take care of, you know, some of the older kids. We're going to bring little one to the doctor here at some point today. So I'll have the other kids then. Uh, in the meantime, it's, I guess I get to be productive for at least a little while. So I need to make use of this time that I have. I've done a bad job of setting myself like a good solid to-do list on these days where I have the full day to work on designing everything. And it definitely hurts my productivity. I'm still working, like I'm just popping into the shop for an hour at a time. Uh, Cause that's how I worked on designing everything for years. And when you're just working for an hour at a time, it's easy just to choose whatever task seems like the most fun and work on that. And at least for me, when I have a full day, I need a plan, otherwise I get lost and I, and I waste time. So I'm gonna sort out my plan here. I put up this um, acrylic that I found when I was cleaning the shop, and I'm gonna use this as a, a whiteboard. Uh, I need to get the prototype of the month club stuff ready. Priority one is the prototype of the month club because I'm already running late on those. Um, I'm going to start by making the carabiners which I can do in parallel with some of these other things. Because once I get those going, that's a largely passive uh, task. So let's make some carabiners. I just went ahead and ordered some more of these carabiner blanks from Send Cut Send. I have just enough right now to cover my Prototype of the Month uh, Patreons. If you wanna join the Prototype of the Month Club, you can find the link down in the description. For 30 bucks a month, you one, support me, but more importantly, you help me by providing feedback on everything I'm making. So like these carabiners, my prototype of the month Patreons are all gonna get one, you know, for the cost of that 30 bucks a month. Um, I'm also working on some lanyards. I'm not really sure if I'm happy with that as a product yet. Actually, I'm sure that I'm not happy with it as a product yet, but I don't really know what to do. The Patreons in the prototype of the month club, they're gonna help me figure out what I need to tweak. So they're gonna test it for me. They're gonna give me feedback on the materials and the finish and the design and then I can incorporate that into my final product. So if you wanna be able to help me design products and help me tweak them and like have a, a, a real say on how Design the Everything designs everything, uh, join the Patreon of the Month Club. Before I could run these, I needed to make some minor cam tweaks. Uh, the biggest thing I did is I made it go down farther below the surface of the carabiner to get rid of that onion skin that plagued me last time. And then also I just pulled back on my speeds and feeds just a little bit. I back down on my surface feed like 10% and my feed per tooth like 20%. So I went up three minutes in cycle time, but I think that'll give me a little bit more reliable of a tool path and give the tool less wear, especially when I don't have flood coolant. The other change I'm gonna make this time around is I'm gonna switch to this new tool holder from Meritool. This one has a long skinny neck and it should make coolant access way better. And this tool holder should have better run out, which will help with tool life and finish. This is almost certainly unnecessary, but I'm going to acetone off the uh, shaft of this tool just because I want to make sure it's clean and there's no oils that can give it some slippiness in this uh, end mill holder. Ooh, it fits really nicely though. Give it the bare minimum stick out here. And that should do nicely. Oh, hey, I didn't realize I left a finished carabiner in here. Bonus carabiner. One of the lessons I learned last time is there's a little bit of a burr on the top of these, or the bottom of them, depending on how you want to look at it. And that burr will make them sit a little bit funny in the fixture. So I just need to come to my sandpaper here, give it a couple swipes to flatten it off. And then it's good to go in the mill. So cutting deeper with that feed mill is kind of helping, but it's still leaving a really, really bad burr. 
So I'm gonna change my code so it does the majority of the material removal with that feed mill, and then I'm gonna come back with a traditional end mill and just take that last onion skin off. Nope, don't like it, don't like it. Don't like it. That started to pull out, and I think warped the carabiner just a little bit. Don't like it. I think I'm barking up the wrong trail by adding that second tool. Looking at this feed mill under my loop, looking at this feed mill under my loop, it looks like it's been through some stuff. This one, the new one, has a very different tooth profile. I'm thinking that I abuse this one too much and it's dull and while it is still cutting, um, it's, not, it's not cutting like it should be. So maybe my speeds and feeds were a little bit aggressive. So I'm gonna dial them back and switch to this new tool and see if we can get rid of the onion skin that way. And then also I need to mix more coolant. More conservative code, new tool, let's go. Go. Oh yeah, that sounds better. Oh yeah, that sounds way better than before. Hmm, now it sounds worse. I wonder if it likes the higher feed. I'm gonna do a feed override and see if that changes my sound. Not really. What if I increase my RPM a little? Yeah, I'll leave it where it is. What if I decrease my RPM a little? Nope, we'll leave it where it is. I think my part's still vibrating some. I need a better fixture. That one came out way better. So I'm gonna blame it on the old dull tool and hope that I don't kill this one as fast because that one didn't last uh, too long. I'm gonna keep cutting these other ones and we'll see what the tool looks like at the end. Well, good news and bad news. The good news is that I machined the last carabiner and I've started deburring those and sandblasting them, finishing, yada, yada, yada. The bad news is that on the very last carabiner, it started to come loose a little bit and it, it scrapped my feed mill. So that feed mill only made about five, six carabiners, um, which that's not acceptable. I definitely need to improve my fixturing. I think from now on, until I find something better, I will use super glue fixturing for everything because uh, I know that's reliable and it won't distort my part. It's just slow, but I can, I can deal with slow. I guess I'm ordering more tooling now. It'll be here in a couple of days. I don't have any more titanium blanks. Earlier today, I ordered more titanium blanks and a bunch of key rings. Um, so those will be here in a couple of days, but I need, I need tooling too. So yay, more money down the drain. So the rest of the carabiners are sandblasted and deburred and everything and ready to tumble. Okay, I am starting to drag a little bit, but we've made some progress. We look at our board here, prototype of the month. There's no way you're gonna read that. Carabiners are made, labels are printed, smaller products are together. Now I need to make the survey, record a video and pack and ship. Except I think I'm gonna push those onto tomorrow. 